Hi, I'm Ryan Nichols, CTO at DSA Ocean, and today I want to talk about what happens when you include or ignore thruster ducts in your hull model when evaluating ship motion hydrodynamics. We're going to use the Proteus DS Shipmo 3D toolset today to explore this a little bit. Um, here I have a sample ship. Uh, this is the generic offshore supply vessel and you can see I've got a different version than the publicly available one uh, you can, that you can download from our website. We've got a, a nice uniform or fairly uniform mesh um, and we just show the uh, ship parts here. We can show see the wet mesh and the dry mesh there based on the displacement and there are the bow thruster ducts and the little stern thruster duct back there. So what we're going to be doing is just uh, making some comparisons and see how much of a difference it makes when we remove those because it's an it's a simplification to make um, and it gives you an opportunity to kind of uh, go through the analysis a little bit faster um, with with uh, less detail in the mesh so one thing to note is that uh, the way that Shipmo 3D works is you provide the geometry and then you specify the draft and it's assumed to be in static equilibrium. So there's a slight difference in the uh, overall mass of the vessel because it's assumed in static equilibrium. We're talking about um, 4,000 tons and there's about a 1% difference between this one and the other model here where we've simplified the hull and removed those ducts both at the bow and the stern so if we just look a little bit more closely you can see um, it's generally quite smoothed over here where the ducts have been removed um, yet still there's a little bit more displacement accounting for basically that we've you know capped off those ducts and and, and it's now part of the hull um, now to uh, the reason I did it this way, I wanted to keep the draft exactly the same because it's the hydrodynamic footprint uh, that I want to examine when we're looking at the wave radiation effects. So let's go ahead and, uh, and take a look at those effects. Um, what we'll do is we'll look at a plot of the radiation curve. So this is without any ducts and then we have here uh, with the ducts. And very generally, you know, what I what I did was um, looked at a lot of the peak values because they sort of have the most significant um, indicator of what's happening either with added mass or the potential damping values. By and large, they're only about you know one percent off from each other, um, and you know, or 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 very very close, even closer than that. There's a little bit of an exception with yaw; it's about six percent off in terms of the peak value. Um, and um, I mean, I think part of that is related to the fact that when you just look at the um, where those thruster ducts are on the ship, you can see we've got the stern one there and uh, the two hole two holes up here. When you when you cap those off, you're starting to accelerate water, you know, where you weren't accelerating them before, um, and that's going to increase the sort of the uh, the effect and forcing on the hull. But the fact is, I think in reality, you know, you've got a propeller in these ducts. The, the way that this is modeled with the ducts in here, there's nothing in there. And there's a little bit of grading. That's going to create some resistance. So the real solution is going to be somewhere in between these values that we see here and uh, the values of the capped off ducts. But, you know, by and large, uh, the curves generally look pretty pretty similar to each other. We're not seeing anything, um, anything grossly uh, different. Um, there's a little bit of an irregular frequency here showing up at a different frequency here um, in the uh, pitch effects, but you know that's that's pretty minor um, in the grand scheme of things. So um, just a curiosity and wanted to look at this a little bit more closely and see like what would happen if we um, made some simplifications and, and actually calculate the resulting uh, hydrodynamic radiation uh, parameters on the hull. Thanks for watching.